Hello and welcome guys. We are taking a look at the new uh, ROG Armor Crate software. Uh, we are using this software on a uh, GL504. This is a SCAR 3 model uh, running the i7 9th generation processor and you have 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of NVMe storage. Uh, let me quickly go through uh, the key specific uh, key features on this uh, Army Crate software. So if you go to the, the buttons, you will see uh, starting from the top, it's home, it's devices, origin software support, game library, so basically your internal game library, scenario profile, so you can set different scenarios, featured, which is I think the new latest game memory system, so you can purchase games directly from there, and the news, the latest news about uh, different, you know, uh, uh, pro different products which are there in the Asus suite. Uh, so uh, you have this much stuff and uh, quickly let me close this and you will see on the main screen itself that you have a lot of a lot of things to look at so uh, in the main screen you will see the frequency response times uh, temperatures the gpu statistics uh, memory and storage statistics uh, how much how fast the fan is running and windows key rg key touchpad you can you know you can toggle them off uh, and on the, uh, from here itself so like this is the panel overdrive so this goes from 60 hertz to uh, one uh, 240 hertz on this particular machine so i if i turn this off and uh, disconnect the uh, cable at the back this will not turn on itself and it will remain 60 hertz uh, so that is one of the things uh, you can change the color cycle you can uh, change the game visuals and different application from right here from here uh, let's quickly go through uh, the main settings which are the windows settings so in this uh, windows panel setting uh, the system uh, goes back to your stock settings so there is uh, less performance there you can see the drop in frequencies in both gpu and cpu in silent the whole thing goes silent and you can see in the graph itself uh, it prioritizes noise reduction, energy saving, and cooling. Uh, performance mode uh, quickly jumps uh, to a G better GPU performance, uh, better cooling, but still there is scope for better uh, CPU performance, and that can be achieved by simply going into turbo mode, where uh, the system uh, cranks up the entire performance and goes into turbo mode where the CPU performance is uh, now priority, cooling performance takes priority, and the GPU performance also takes priority. So here the noise reduction is now not in priority, so the system will uh, ramp up the fans, and you will hear the fans as they go climb up towards 5000 RPM. Uh, so that's that. Uh, moving on, we have the second thing we should talk about. This is Aura Sync support. So you can see that uh, if I add another hardware here, let's say if I add another mouse uh, from the Asus catalog, it will show up here and you can select and sync the devices accordingly. There are different, you know, basic settings. You have color cycle, rainbow, uh, you can starry night, uh, even the Asus 30th edition setting. Uh, for the first RGB, uh, there's a new application called Aura Creator App which uh, you have to download. So if I connect this, this will open up uh, Microsoft uh, uh, so Microsoft Store and you will go to the Aura Creator app. This will allow you to do a uh, perky RGB. You can download it and see for yourself. We'll, make, we'll try to make another video about that. Uh, for now, this is uh, here built in. And uh, you can see that uh, this uh, advanced effect can be in-game lighting can be changed. On the game library part, uh, this is basically where your game library comes in. So if you have more games on your laptop, you can put them here and it will uh, show up here and you can select which kind of profiles it will be connected to. Uh, then you have your scenario profiles. So this is a very uh, similar, this is attached to your game games as well so uh, you can uh, change different settings or uh, select different settings for your different uh, scenarios so i have profile one and in profile one i can turn panel overdrive off i can turn off the touchpad 
I can turn off the ROG key if I want to. And in profile two, so save changes and profile two, it will turn on or we can change it accordingly. So this can be done as per your uh, requirement. Then you have your game deals. So this is a new uh, page we have added to the ROG Armory Plate software. So you can have, uh, so now we'll, we can sell uh, games directly from the Armory Plate software. Uh, you can, these are the recommended applications. Uh, Xplit Games Caster is a very popular you know, game streaming software. Uh, game View Studios, ROG Game Plus, Game First. Uh, these are uh, some, some special software which are there for uh, the customers who want to you know uh, get them get some more gaming done on this on this laptop uh, redemptions are definitely for people who want to redeem you know uh, redemption keys which are there sometimes with laptops like these but you have to sign in for that i'll talk about it in a more in a moment uh, then you back going back to game deals as you can see latest games are here star wars jedi fallen order recently launched in india uh, recently launched uh, globally as it, as my, as i uh, must say uh, you can have more applications as well and uh, this uh, completely comes in this uh, you know is in this page you can have ROG news as well which is uh, comes here uh, it's not loaded yet. oh yeah it's coming right now so this is the latest things happening in the ROG world and latest uh, you know headphones which got launched ROG phone, a news, and all. In the settings a menu, you can go and you know choose different themes. So you can choose between the Armory Plate theme or the Tough Gaming Army Plate theme, and uh, it will. You can also choose which will be the first page you want to open when you you know press the Armory Plate software. You can update the send update the software directly from here. Uh, check for updates and all, and uh, this will also give you about version of the software now uh, to do this part this is the keystone part now you can see keystone not detected it's not connected at the moment so uh, we'll talk about it so for that first what you have to do you have to go to the this part this is the account login part so guys uh, we have logged in and uh, as you can see uh, we have we created the account earlier and we have logged in uh, now we'll go to the keystone part and we'll see that the keystone is not detected let me just quickly connect the keystone uh, into the machine so now you can see the yellow keystone is detected stop inside the pc uh, what you have to do is uh, start with a pair to pc so it's paired now you can see in keystone management yellow key dot okay now you can uh, you know turn on and off uh, custom lighting settings. So when you connect the keystone, you will uh, hear a certain set of uh, sounds and a lighting setting. Uh, now what you have to do is see the shadow drive. So it's on the bottom side of the menu, and you have to unlock shadow drive. Put in a password again. You will see at the bottom that the shadow drive has been unlocked. Uh, what you have to do is now authorize. So put in the password once again. So now your keystone will be authorized to use the uh, shadow drive. So now you will see the shadow drive here. Let me just quickly open Explorer for you. Uh, this PC and see shadow drive here. So this is basically a virtual drive built into the system. Uh, now I'll what I'll do is I'll remove the keystone and this will basically uh, you will see the shadow drive has been blocked and it's uh, not here in my PC. So let me quickly go back and show you let me connect the shadow drive once again so let me connect the keystone keystone detected shadow drive is here uh, so again shadow drive comes up here let me now show you in the menu itself so uh, i'm now disconnecting the shadow uh, the keystone 
and the shadow drive vanishes away. And let me quickly connect the keystone. And it appears in my PC. So now you can store and save your data and it won't be uh, shown anywhere else. It will be just coming here. And this will be uh, securely stored within the machine, but will only unlock when you have the keystone with you. Now, let's say in any chance uh, you uh, forget your keystone. So let me just quickly remove the keystone here and the shard drive should disappear yeah now uh let's say your keystone is not there you forgot it in somewhere so how to unlock the shard drive simply putting your uh, password into the machine and you will now unlock the shard drive this should now unlock the shard drive see uh, so now you can see your shard drive here and when you're done, you can just log So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you do your Armory Cave software. That's the entire video on Armory Cave software and uh, how the Keystone actually works and how you configure the Keystone for a particular Star 3 machine. That's it. Uh, this is Hartik signing off. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other questions. Thank you.